Okay, I just thought of another one. Goes back to my question about the evolution of the beaver. And his behavior, presumably, inside the beaver DNA, there's a sequence of DNA that says, I want to build a dam and then a beaver lodge in the middle of a stream. Right? And that's passed on, right? It's, it's, it's instinct. But instinct must be governed by DNA. As opposed to just physical traits. Instinct must also have a gene sequence. So now... They've, there's the technology of gene splicing where they can splice certain genes from one animal into another animal. The, the famous spider goat would be an example, I, I believe, of gene splicing. I believe that's what they did. They spliced in the genes of a spider somehow to the genes of a goat and ended up with this spider goat. <laughs> so... Does that indicate that you could splice in to a person, for example, or another animal, the instinct of a different animal? So, could you splice beaver DNA into a deer, and then a deer would spend its days trying to build a dam in the middle of a lake, in the middle of a river, and a deer would be chewing on trees, trying to trying to chew a tree down. You could probably think of some crazy examples of splicing instinct of one animal into the instinct of another. I can't think of any right now, but <laughs> I don't know. What's a what's a, a an interesting animal behavior, right? Uh, and then would it be resistible like, right? I mean, I doubt a beaver can easily resist the urge to build a dam. So if you splice that into a, a fox, would, would, it, would it be able to resist chewing on trees to try to cut a tree down and build a dam? Think about that. I have to think about other examples of animals animal instinct and sort of bizarre animal behaviors that you could splice into, into other things including people and what that would look like I mean if you splice beaver DNA into a person would, would that person spend their days trying to chew on trees and make a dam or would they become a dam engineer be obsessed with making dams their whole life, not realizing that it's because they have beaver DNA in them. <laughs>